Toby, you wanna go for a ride? You wanna go for a ride? Yeah, you ready to go, huh? What's that? Oh no. Oh no. We gotta fix that first. Hey guys, Richard here with another short video. You know, Toby's ride, we have to air up that stinking tire about every 30 minutes if we want to go anywhere, and I'm just tired of it. So, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and swap out the tube and be done with it. I tried putting some slime in there, it just wasn't holding, it wasn't working, so we're just going to replace the tube completely, and hopefully that'll solve our problem. So, let's do it. All right, first let's just get this tire off here. This is really easy. Just push in right here, and the whole thing just slides right off nice and easy. Now the idea is we're going to go ahead and uh, loosen up this valve cap, the valve stem, take everything loose. Got to loosen up that nut down there in the bottom. Alright guys, so a while back I purchased these, uh, these tools here to get the tire on and off the rim a little easier. And I haven't used them yet, but we're going to bust them out see how it goes. I'm gonna hold that one right there if you can see. I'm gonna use this other tool, see if I can wiggle it in there. And that one came out. We want it to stay there. There we go. See, we can go all the way around. Break that tire loose. Now we gotta pull it off the other side, which should be pretty easy. I can do that with my hands. Now when it gets to this stem down here, we gotta work it out the hole. Just like that. There we go, nice and easy. So now we just take out the old tube. Some tires, uh, you know, they're designed to rotate a certain direction. I think I saw, yeah, see right here it says, if you can see that, it says rotation. It's got an arrow pointing that way. So that's the direction it's supposed to go. And when this was on uh, the trailer there, uh, going down the road, it was actually on backwards because it's going to roll that way. So maybe we'll just flip that around. But let's bust out the new tube. Now I bought these on Amazon, had them delivered in a day. I hope they meet my every expectation. Let's see here. Um, let's first just go ahead and get this inside here. Just slide it up inside there. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna add a little air to it just so it starts taking shape a little bit. I think it'll be a little easier maybe to Make sure it's in there correctly and not pinched. I don't know. We'll see. My favorite little air pump right here. I'll tell you what. I got a video on that. Handy little guy. I don't remember. I think it was $30. Maybe $40 or something. Uh, but real handy. Pull, the, pull that out. Screw it in right there at the top. Hold the button to turn it on. There it is. And the tire pressure right now is set for 20. I don't want that. I'm just going to put like a couple of pounds in it. So uh, we'll do something like that. Five pounds. Screw it on right here in the end. Oh, I had an adapter on there because this other tube was a different style valve. So I had an adapter on there. I'm gonna stick that back in the bag for now. Screw this on. So we have no leaky leaky. Hit the button. That's actually enough right there. Don't need any more than that. Unscrew that. Now we can see how it sits inside there and everything took shape. That's how I plan to do it. Hey, I'm not a tire expert, but uh, that's what I'm doing. And oh, another thing you might want to do is always just double check. Make sure there's no burrs, make sure there's no spokes that are actually broken or poking through. It could cause you problems. Everything looks good. So now let's see if we can get this in here. So we're going to start with valve stem get it into place and then we're gonna see if we can get that this layer uh, the outside of the tire if see if we can get it onto the rim just working it with our hands and then if so we'll use the tool to get the rest of it on there there it goes slipped in there just fine so now we got to get this part of the tire back on the rim and we do that by Again, using our tools. So 
gonna hold it like that. I'm gonna get this other one, wedge it down there in that crack and just go around. You see that? It's starting to, well, I can almost do it with my hands. Look at that, I can do it with my hands now. I got enough of it in there. Just work it over there with my hands. Starting to get tight here at the end. Nope, got it. All right, so we got it all in there, nice and easy. And everything's see, uh, seated correctly. This looks like it's a little uh, wonky junk, right? See there, see that, it's a little crooked. So what we can do is we can try to rotate this, but I doubt we'll be able to slide anything without maybe damaging something. So. Well, actually, we got it. There we go. There you go, now that's nice and straight. That's all she wrote. Let's put some air in it. I'm gonna put this back on. And this is a new trailer for me, so I'm not sure how much air it's supposed to have. I think it was on the tire somewhere. You know, this little tire says 36 PSI. I, I, I don't think so. I think somebody was smoking something that day. But uh, what I had been doing, I didn't, had been putting about 18 pounds in it or something. So let's just go with that. You know, and I'm going to stop at 15 pounds. I mean, we're only talking about Toby over there. He's uh, not even 20 pounds, I don't think. And that's pretty stiff right there. So that is it. Hopefully that's going to solve our problems. And we have a, a cap that we can put back on it. Always do that to keep uh, dirt and debris and stuff out of here. And... Man, we are about ready to go. We're going to slip this back on over here. Let me do that again. All we got to do is hold this button in right here, which holds in uh, those little guys right there. It allows it to slide in the shaft, just like that. Double check that it's not going to come off. And Toby and I are ready for a ride. You know you're a good boy, huh? There you go. There you go.